Absolutely not. Like, no. Like, why would you even want to do that? So, I mean, no. Go I'm ahead, trying Jane. to think, like, I'm trying to think who I would ever talk to. Um, what married godly man I would just start yakking with and sending texts to? They're, no. It's just, no. And... At the grocery store, I mean, hell, I'm nice. I'll say hi. Hopefully people say hi back, but there definitely is, like, no, yeah. So we're in Myers up in Nuego, and I literally was just getting grapes, and I, there's an older man next to me, and I'm like, I don't even, what did I say to him? But you were so irritated with me. I was like, what the heck? And so he, I was like, oh, these are, nice grapes or something like that. And he's like, yeah, because my wife just passed away a year ago and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I think he's thinking you're single and wanting to... He was hitting on hitting you. Hitting on you. I'm like, I don't think so. I'm just talking to him about grapes. No, he was hitting on him. But I mean, literally, would, that was just the purest... Grapes of- is like a new euphemism. That's why, yeah. <laughs> so I know anyway, guys. And guys not... not- chit-chatting with you because he needs a therapist. So. But anyways, never, no. You know what, you give, like we have tons of the group texts with our couple friends and all that, but I would never just often text Tim Picking or, you know, or Randy Betts or somebody else like, hey, and have this personal, no, 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 no. So yeah. it's just, you're just opening yourselves up to something that's going to be disastrous, so. You need to have, I, I think it's good to have guardrails and, and uh, boundaries in your life. And that's not to say, like, if you see somebody that you know in a grocery store, you can't say hi to them, how are you doing, type of thing. But it's talking about that intentional trying to dig down deep and build rapport or build a relationship. You know the motive of your heart to do that. And, you know, especially like on social media, in a social media era, Jimmy Evans just told me recently that, of affairs take place, they start on social media. So it starts with like an old friend or you drop into somebody's DMs or you send them a message or an email and it strikes up a conversation. And uh, you, you need to, number one, honor the person that you're married to and that's your intimate communication and the desire of your heart is, is needed to be focused solely at the person that you're married to. And you don't have, I'm, I'm sorry, you just don't have the luxury of having best friends that are not your spouse of the opposite sex. Uh, you just don't do that You're, because that leads to intimacy, that leads to conversations that you need to be having with your spouse. And, uh, and you don't know how you're coming across. Uh, I'll get DMs occasionally from people in Instagram and those kinds of things, uh, and I'll answer them. But... I, I'm not, but I always let Jane know, hey, I got this Instagram message from this person in church or whatever. And she knows she can look at my social media anytime and she can look at those inboxes because I never want there to be anything that is viewed as inappropriate. And a lot of times if I'm texting somebody, if it's a, if it's a woman, not because I think she's trying to do anything, but if it's like somebody on our staff, it's like I include her in the text and she does the same thing uh, for me where it's, it's a, it's an open thing, but this kind of thing, like uh, privately communicating to a single woman and asking her about her life, you, don't ask her about her life. Uh, you're married, ask your wife about her life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ask comment. Natasha yeah. about her life, Sean. <laughs> I do, yeah, every day. Uh, I think I do. So anyway, uh, no, that's good. That, I, and I think that is the key. To, it's the private, there's the intentionality, the privately. It's like, it's not that you, like if someone walks up in the grocery store, you have to be no. like fearful and run away. It's, yeah. And so uh, I did that once. But so. you don't want to be like, Sean, you got great legs. Wow. Do you yeah. like these? 